up in this video i'll be showing you how i'm able to create a nice and seamless backdrop for my studio images so you can see if i totally analyze this background you can see that we have all these varying colors in the background or in the backdrop so i want to show you how i'm able to achieve a clean nice smooth and seamless background and if i told you find the video for simply like the video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you find the content really helpful for you as a photographer or as a beginner out there so in order to smooth the background in this case what i tend to do first is first of all duplicate the background layer so I just duplicate this by pressing ctrl j or you can use command j and create a copy from the background layer and after doing that the next thing we're going to be doing is selecting around the subject so just going to come and make sure any selection tool right here is activated so for this i'll just use the quick selection tool and come to where you see select and come to subject so that photoshop can automatically select the subject for us but during the course of the selection of the subject photoshop has also selected or it has left out the selection of this white sitting area or this white prop in the image so what we're going to be doing in this case with this quick selection tool selected you are simply going to come and make sure the plus selection or this add icon is now activated or selected and just come and left click and click over this white area to also add it to the selection so to remove a given selection if at all photoshop has not done a pretty nice job hold down the option key on the keyboard and as soon as you hold down the option key on the keyboard it is going to automatically select the subtract tool and you can subtract a given selection by clicking and removing a given selection so i'm just going to undo that so right now i've selected the subject and everything around the subject so remember we only want to clean the background in this case so with this tool still selected or the quick selection tool still selected you're just going to invert the selection so that the selection can be onto the background so just simply right click and come to select inverse or you can simply come right here to select and simply come to inverse and you're going to be able to select the background instead of selecting the subject so right now the background has been selected so what we want to do next we simply want to even out the colors from the background or create even colors so in order to create those even colors we're simply going to come to the brush tool right click and get the normal brush tool and come and measure the hardness set to zero and soft round brush is selected because this is very important because you're going to be painting colors so if i totally use a hard brush it's going to be leaving those hard lines in the background so make sure the brush is a soft round brush and the hardness set to zero the mode is normal opacity at 100 percent flat 100 percent and right now what we want to do we just want to sample colors from this very image so in order to sample these colors with the brush tool selected you're simply going to hold down the option key on the keyboard and for purposes of it being better you're just going to reduce the opacity once again to around 67 and with the opacity of 67 i'm just going to hit enter so just want to sample colors and paint them in the background from the background itself so you can see to remove this annoying black area hold on the option key on the keyboard option for mac alt is for windows so option and left click on that color to sample that color and simply paint over the color that you want to eliminate so option option left click to sample a color and release the option key on the keyboard or release the alternate key on the keyboard and paint once again on a new color to replace or to remove those wrinkles so you don't have to overdo this so just make sure you leave some little bit of imperfect shown in the background so i'm just going to sample from this area and paint just like that sample so you have to keep on sampling from different areas so when it comes to this black area and if i told you what the behind the scene you notice that the background was slightly folding in this area so for this area to eliminate it i'm just going to sample a dark color from this point so alt and left click to sample and simply paint over that black area to 
eliminate it and you can keep on painting to get better results. So this area looks a little bit too dark for my liking. So I'll just sample a dark color from this area and using a brush and paint to brighten up that given area. So right now we have been able to paint on majority of the colors in the backdrop. So I'm just going to sample and paint once again. And this doesn't look better and it is not close to what we want to achieve. But this is the before, after, before, after. If at all you want, you can stop at this point. But if at all you want to smoothen the background even better, you're simply going to come to the brushes, right click and get the mixer brush tool. And make sure we set it to clean brush. And make sure this second option is checked, which is clean brush after each stroke with the weight of 9%. Load 75, mix 90, flow at 100%. You're simply going to start painting and blending all these dark areas. So increase on the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard or the box bracket keys on the keyboard. So I'm just going to come and paint just like that. So left click and hold down and mix a given area to create a nice transition. But when it comes to close to the subject, always make sure you Use a very small brush and paint far away from the subject. Don't paint close to the edges because when you paint close to the edges of your subject, it is going to be creating that kind of halo effect. So make sure you paint away or a little bit far away from the subject. So use a small brush and paint and blend all those transitions in those particular areas. So you can see right now the background is now getting to look better and it looks a little bit more seamless. But what is left is the foreground color or the front part of the backdrop which is down here. So for this we're simply going to slightly zoom in by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard or you can use Command plus on the keyboard. Reduce on the size of the brush and simply clean up this area. So you can see I'm going to move, be moving the brush in this kind of direction. So to remove this, so just paint smoothly just like that. And keep away from removing or painting on the shadow areas or some of the reflections in the image. And like I said, keep away from painting close to the subject. And you have to be careful with that. So I'm just going to paint just like that and leave the reflection of this prop that is she's, she's sitting on. So you can see what we have right now and now everything looks better than it was initially before. So you can see this is a better and more effective technique to have a better looking kind of backdrop or background. So you can see before, after, before, after. Everything looks great. Everything looks clean. So you can see that we have left some little bit of imperfections in the backdrop because we don't want it to look a little bit more on the artificial side. So just want it to look close to natural. So you can see before, after, before, after. So I'm simply going to deselect the selection by pressing Ctrl D or you can use Command D on the keyboard to deselect. And you can see before, after, before, after. So for those areas that you may not have painted, just perfect those after. So if at all you want to clean up this better, you can now come and get the spot healing brush tool. Use Ctrl plus on the keyboard or you can use Command plus on the keyboard and just dab over these dirty areas and clean or try to clean them and make them look better. So I'm just going to remove all those nails so that this can be a better and seamless kind of prop. So after doing this, you can say before, after, before, after. You can even get the Mr. Brush tool and reduce on the size and just paint on this white area to remove all these dirty patches on the prop that she is seated on. So this is what I tend to do when I'm trying to clean up uh, my studio backdrops. So you can see the before, after, before, after. It is a better and natural looking kind of backdrop. So if I totally want to whiten this even more, you can just come and create a selective color adjustment layer. Come and select whites and you can see by playing around with the white slider, you can either 
heighten that even more or you can leave it to whatever it was initially before. So this is how I can easily smoothen out studio backdrops and make them look better and nice and seamless. And if I totally have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and don't forget to subscribe if I totally have been watching. And you're not yet subscribed to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.